Mary Shelley was only 18 years old when she started writing Frankenstein. It's a horror story, a spine-chilling and compelling one, and it's endured over the last 200 years. It was popular when it first came out in 1818, and by 1910 the first film adaptation appeared, followed by many more. So we all know, or think we know, the story. But there's more to Frankenstein's enduring popularity and why we're so fascinated by it 200 years after it was first published. Mary's background knowledge was really up to date. Scientific experiments involving electricity and chemistry around this period were exploring how life is created. And that's what Frankenstein does. His ambition is that a new species would bless me as his, its creator. You don't even have to have read the book to know that that's not how it turns out. Our sympathies are with Frankenstein when he tells his story. He's horrified at what he's done, abandons his creation and runs away, terrified. But our sympathies shift when we hear the creature's story. Everywhere he's rejected because of his appearance, his difference from anyone else. We can't condone but we begin to understand how and why he resorts to murder. Mary Shelley's novel is much more than an entertaining and scary tale. It also addresses really important social questions about relationships and responsibility. And it's her use of successive voices in the text that ensures that readers come to understand that there are no simple answers to such questions. And that, I think, is why the issues Frankenstein raises remain relevant and important today, 200 years after it first came out. Frankenstein is one of the texts studied in the romantic part of A230, reading and studying literature.